PSP TV, we are here with a really dear friend and a new mom. Hey, I'm not hey. so new. I'm and I'm sorry. But I know her like, she's one of the most enterprising friends uh, that I know because she's, see, what have you not tried? She's, she's a producer, actor, RJ, host. Have you seen anything? No. I think, you know what, I get bored easily. So you know, just keep doing, keep doing, keep reinventing yourself. And, yeah. uh, the only thing I didn't do was have kids, so right. yeah, so she's had like, that, which you have told me for a long time. <laughs> it's high time. But this is one of the first lives that we're actually doing. This and is the so, very first yeah. one. Yay! And I'm really Yay! happy the first one that we're doing with kids. So this is like perfect. Um, okay, we're going to ask a lot of questions to Dee. Uh, but before that, we have to kind of uh, tell us a little bit. You sum up. TJ in 140 characters. 140 characters. I think hashtag always on the move. <laughs> Once babies start walking, you will never get a chance to sit down. And I'm always running behind, running behind. I fold clothes in, I put away toys, they empty them out. Every, all that I do, they undo. And we just go through that all day. Right, and that's her secret. That's her secret to her fitness, right? That's pretty much it. You know, you're so constantly moving that you can't help you get in shape. Right. Awesome. Okay, tell me now, um, fun stuff. So, what was your first reaction when you knew you were twins? Ah! <laughs> it was, you know, we have twins in my family, but you never think it's going to happen to me. And I always thought, I'm so happy to do that. Yeah, okay. We do. Oh, so the, these guys are the four ones. So, but you don't think it's going to happen to me. And I always thought, I'm so thin, how will I ever have a baby? And I ended up having two. So if I can do it, anybody can do it. I yeah, should. and all through her pregnancy, you would wonder, and how does she like, fit those two in? Because she was I don't know where. I don't know yeah. where. I was actually just all tummy. So they were like folded up, tucked up somewhere. <laughs> oh. What was what was Karanvi's reaction when he got to know that you were <laughs> Forget, forget having oh, twins. Have I so where was it and what happened? I was shooting for um, Toshima that time. It was a three year contract because I thought we're not really planning anything. So I was shooting and then I just felt, I started feeling really tired. And I thought maybe my iron is low. I'm feeling a little little queasy. I don't feel like eating. But then there was, you know, March. So I thought it's just the weather. It happened every year. And then I got a, you know, I went to the blood testing to check my vitamin levels. And the doctor called and said, I said, is everything okay? And they said, it's more than okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then more than okay, but I'm just like, I don't know. Um, Katie was over the moon. He came down to set an hour and a half drive in Nigel, which is really a god. It's so far. But he came with flowers and he came with a little cake. And everyone said, let's see, Katie. He said, I'm just proud of my wife. She's doing her first CD. So, uh, so nobody did it for three months. I didn't need to Anybody, not even anyone, but he was, he was thrilled. He, he was, was thrilled. thrilled. Yeah. But he's anyways like, you know, he, he's so, um, uh, he's so expressive <laughs> about everything that, that I wouldn't, uh, I would have not, not oh, expected oh, 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 this. Like, like, Um, 
and um, and everybody wants to know that um, how to handle twins. Is it different to have twin babies versus you know just I mean how is it to have twins? You know sometimes I feel like I'm a little ripped off because you know when you have one baby you get to enjoy all the baby moments and everything with mine. Then you have another baby you get to experience it all over again. Mine is like it's going to happen all together with two. Yeah. So. You know, either, well, I do enjoy them all, the only other option is to have another baby. I don't know what else to do. Yeah, you have it just once. Actually, you're right. Now that I think of it, I yeah. feel like the second one I enjoyed more than the first one. Because I was so overwhelmed the first time. Yeah. Yeah. But the second one, I'm just like holding on. I'm like, oh, she's growing up too fast. I'm not going to get these moments again. And I'm not having a third. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you. But I'm, I'm not having a third. I already have the third one as kids shop press, so I don't think I can, I can have any more. But is it is it tougher to do? I mean, you make it sound too simple. You know, I can't so make it sound simple. It is a little tougher because it is double the work. And the one way that I manage is that my mom is always here with me from Pune yeah. so she travels. I've always got that extra set of hands, and um, we both haven't picked up. Kibi and I have not picked up full-time shows of work so we can be home a little more because we want to enjoy this and we want to be hands-on we want to do it ourselves right. so it is a little extra work but if you have extra help then it's all manageable right yeah. were there times when you said wow you know everybody should have twins like what was that one moment where you thought like everybody should have twins? i have that moment every day whenever i step out i come home and you see like you know two little pairs of arms two little people two smiles Running to the door, mom, mom, and they go, oh, I got two! And they both just jump, it's, I love it, I love it. And one moment where you thought, damn, why do I have to do this? Like, that why just happen it? right now? Uh -huh. I was just gonna say, that. one baby will quietly play by herself, and we get them, they have a lot of things, they have two of everything, so they have their own toys, and still they will fight, I don't know why, they just want. Whatever the other one has, Maybe. all of a sudden some kicking happens and yeah. Okay, this is amazing. I am surprised that she's sitting so quietly. Maybe I should not jinx the moment. You know what? I'm feeling After amazing. Well, you, the secret is, don't get frazzled by it. What can you do? It happens. So why spoil your mood or get angry? And children pick up their yeah. vibrations. They're so sensitive to vibrations. Yeah. So if you get like, angry, they will feel that anger. If you get uh, upset, oh no, what are you guys doing? If you yell, see? yeah, see, like that. They will do their little mirrors of everything you do. So you have to do everything. Be really nice. Very nice. See? Mm -hmm. But you know, she's one of the most positive and, uh, you know, and I've seen her kids always super calm in spite of. I, I remember when you came home with them like what, six months yeah. last year. And her, I mean, in, I mean, she and family are never frazzled. The, the babies are extremely calm. I mean, how do you manage to be so positive, so so calm overnight? You have to. You you just have to like pull your socks up and tell yourself, I got this, and you do. And I think a lot of it was when I was expecting, I would always keep a, a quiet space at home. I would listen to chants and mantras. I would just sip green tea, read good books, spend a lot of time just doing meditations and stuff. Whatever you do becomes part of the child's soul consciousness. So I feel that the kind of person you are, that's what they become. And I feel that they are, for two little girls, especially those two, they're two infants. So a lot of that is in them. And I believe it's because of them. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, but tell me, um, how do you, like, there, there must be those moments where, you know, and, and you're so active on Instagram, like, you're managing your yeah. account, managing, At after this. <laughs> yeah, and you're managing your account, and you're managing theirs, but every post that I read, DJ, it just feels like there's a story, um, you know, there's a story that's, uh, uh, there's a story that you're saying, or, you know, why don't you answer it, or, you know, things like that, so why do you not, do you ever feel that, you're letting a piece of your heart out with each post. You know, it's important. Why are we on social media? I yeah. think it's just to show different pictures of yourself and different outfits and hairdos. I mean, it's a platform to connect. So if you want to connect, be a little real. Give yeah. a little piece of your heart out so people yeah. say, I'm not the only one going through that. I feel it too. So I think that's, maybe that's what people like to come back to because there is something real in it. She's excited. Are you going? Just okay, here you go. 
bless you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Careful of what you're talking. Oh, the job is you to be too jacky. Good baby, good baby. I'll show this to you. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, a lot of it just comes through, right? Where you feel like it's it's all genuine. And right now on social media, you feel like there's so much of uh, you know, there's so much of people trying to. There's so much of you know. It's not that much of uplifting, if that's the right word. Yeah, so I think it's uh, social media has become a big bashing zone where right. people just create these ideas that they hide behind and they can make comments about anybody they feel like. People don't usually do that on our page. We don't yeah. do it on other people's pages. Right. We keep it just a friendly space. Yeah. And if you have to get, go do it somewhere else. I I think the reason people come back is because they like a little bit of like you said upliftment. Yeah. In the day. So we maintain that. Right. Uh, tell me, how has the process been between work, managing managing the kids? You have been doing um, um, managing stuff and seeing the shows that you've been doing. So how have you been managing with work and with the babies? I think the babies with me. Yeah. They, I think it's important for them to get used to being on set from an early age because that's our life, that's our work. So they love being there. They like seeing the they love meeting new people. They, um, they enjoy being there, so we take them along and we take all their blankets and things that we enjoy to sleep and they need to be in the heat, so, and they like being out of the house. Yeah. For them it's a chance to go on and help so we take them along, and otherwise when we shoot at home, if there's an option to shoot at home, we do it here, so they're comfortable too, so we, we manage it, we yeah. manage it. It's not, I, I love how she makes everything <laughs> think that's such a breeze, yeah. but actually, actually it's not, it's, it's really not, but I know that He's very hands on. Yeah. So I know that I've seen both of them together and I know that, that you know both of them both of you kind of split forces and take charge. Yeah. So I think that, that's yeah. that's probably what makes it uh, a little yeah. easier. Okay, and I know the answer to this one, but I'm still gonna ask this. Who has been your biggest biggest support system? It has to be my mom. Her mom yeah. and family are like her yeah. sisters. Come on. My baby. Family is just my immediate family, there's eight of us. I have five brothers and sisters. There's my mom, there's my mom. Two of my brothers are married, so there's two more people. So there's a lot of people. And I've done so many. Which is good because the babies are used to being around a lot of people. Yeah. In a true sense, you're kind of raising them almost like a family system. And family is better as well. So it just makes, makes it uh, like so inclusive. Right? They say it takes a village of the <laughs> Yeah. Okay, uh, who's the good cop and who's the bad cop between the two of you guys? You know, we kind of lay down some of the Otherwise, if one person says no, they know that they get the way that the other can. So, we, we both pretty much are the same. Oh, Excuse me, look what you did. Okay, let's put it down. You sit down. How many can you do? Let's go back in. You sit down about back in low school. You put it all back. All good back. Baby, good baby, till the better. There you go. Entertain yourself. Yeah, so easy to entertain kids. <laughs> right. Okay. So you, you were saying who's the good cop and who's the bad cop? We both kind of stick to rules. Like we don't let them have phones. If they see it, they want to grab it. We're there. They'll say, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> yeah, that's important. But do they have like screen time rules yet or screen time rules? Um, you know, once in a while we let them watch nursery rhymes on TV. They get like 15 minutes, and that's it. And that's maybe like a couple of times a week. It's not. They shouldn't get used to that anytime we want to see TV, yeah. we can. It's kind of like a treat for them. Yeah. So, no, there's not really a set rule for it, but only a little at a time because they say it's bad for kids' eyes. Right. Right. So, we do try to. Three non negotiables in terms of, you know, absolute non negotiables for you and for the kids. Um, one is bad eating habits. No, like, halaba. I know that people would argue, no, the ghee and stuff is good for them. They get the ghee in their, you know, their oats and things and the yeah. other food that they eat, the paratas, bhakta, no sugar. That's sugar and extra like sweets. That we keep away from. That we both are very, very strict about. Yeah. Don't try to slip them a chocolate or this or that because what, whatever they have now, they they'll start getting used to it. And we'll talk about it. Right. Um, that's that's one. Yeah. Second is sleep time. There's no negotiating. Sleep time means let's go. Yeah. And you go to bed whether you cry and howl or sleep peacefully, then you have to sleep. So that and the third one is no fighting, but we can help. Yeah. I think that's what I would let go of. I think we I can try and help. Try. 
Okay, tell me what's a day in the life like? Like how, how what's a day in the life of teaching? A day in the life? Wake up and it's so nice because now they don't want to say morning. So mm. usually they wake us up like, huh? morning. Okay, morning. <laughs> it doesn't matter what time I slept. Mm. I get up because they're waking me up so nice. So we, we get up, they have milk early morning, then we get up and we don't have some breakfast by them. They're ready to eat. Again, making their breakfast, their cereal. One likes burrata, one likes eggs. So we have to yeah. make like the Indian and the continental breakfast. So. <laughs> so Katie makes the eggs, I make the prata, feed them, then bath time. Doing all this just a few hours passes, I play a little bit, by then it's nap time, we come down for a nap. We sit, we have a coffee, we're like, where'd half the day go? <laughs> Before you know, they wake up like, they're up. Yeah. <laughs> I know what that feels like. Get them up again, again, you know, spend time. It's so important to just be there with them. This is the time that they'll remember. You know, and you don't want to have so much hired help that you're giving away the best moments of their life. Okay. So our day just goes just like that. And then now, you know, they love drawing, painting. We've let them draw on the walls. And people say, no, you shouldn't do that. But you know, in their young life, they're going to hear no, don't, shouldn't so much. Yeah. So we don't want to place limits. And people don't see that, you know, while they draw on the walls, we get like some soap and water. They also help wash the walls. So they know that we clean up our mess. So we wash the walls. We start all over again. <laughs> yeah. So we let them for playtime. We let them kind of actively play, like run downstairs, play, color, draw, do all those things. But like I said, we have to be there to yeah. supervise and make sure. Which I, which I really appreciate that you haven't like kind of outsourced all of it. And you, you, you pretty much. Around some days I wonder why. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, but actually, I keep asking this question though. Uh, each time that I keep asking this to my husband that. So this is this going to be on in the long run that you haven't outsourced most of it and you're still running the errands and still running the chores and still doing the jobs, pickups and being around. Do you have a question there? I think they remember it for sure. I think when kids grow up, they know. Yeah. My mom wasn't around and when they're old enough to call you selfish, they will. <laughs> so yeah. You're so busy chasing your own career and you're never there for us. Yeah. And it's not more than you know, them resenting me later on. It's just because I love it. Yes. Every day is a surprise. They learn something new, they do something new. You know, again, I got ready yesterday and they're like, wow, nice. Is it? Oh, thank you so much. My husband didn't compliment me. <laughs> but every day is something new. So you wake up every day you think, what will I get to see today? You know, it's a, it's a privilege because there are people waiting to have children. Yes. Waiting, waiting, who would wish that they could go through this. So I appreciate it. Okay, so we gotta be a little louder okay. so we can <coughs> beat the noise. Okay. Um, okay, tell me what is now obviously the girls have their own Instagram account. They're extremely popular. I've seen that when we go out together. First people would want to take a picture with Karanveer and we used to wonder like why are women so crazy after him and because we're friends and we're like, okay, well and now when we go out everybody wants to take pictures with the girls. How do you how do you manage that? Are they anxious? Do you wanna keep people at bay or you know, with a whole fat scene in the way. You know what, if you try to keep people away, they'll take pictures and far away. Yeah. So it's really not a, a bad thing. And whenever they say they want to take a picture, they always say what they like about the page to you. Know, they say that, you know, I had a bad day and I saw it and I really liked it. Or they'll say that you wrote something really nice about, you know, you shouldn't judge a fat baby because it might shift your conscience later on. So there's little, little things that people get. And if I'm reaching out to people with something, then, then it's okay, and it's not a, it's not a bad thing. When people come and meet us, I think it's, it's nice, and it's, it's great that people more than myself or Katie, they say we're big fans of your daughters. <laughs> I hope that I raise them right, so when we grow up, that they continue their own legacy, we good people. Yeah. Great. Uh, okay. Everybody wants to wants to know this. How does DJ manage to stay so fit, me included? Yeah, look at those muscles. She's just <laughs> calling me. She's just calling me. Okay, okay. I, do, I did. Fun. I took from and especially in front of me, she plugs in even more. I did a lot of yoga. You know, I, if it's hard to say. I'm glad yeah, she didn't say that I'm blessed with great metabolism because I just, I just, just like, it's work. How. It is work. You know, it's part, part genes, part grace, and part your own efforts. You have to do it. You have to. And being thin. It doesn't necessarily mean you're very healthy. You know, your your organs, the insides also need to be taken care of. So, 
I would just um, open up my laptop and go to YouTube and do yoga, do stretches. I would look up, okay, after six months, what can you do? After delivery, what can you do? So these days, so much information is right there. When people right. say, I don't have time, I can't get away. You don't need to get away, just yeah. do it at home. Yeah. And we're lucky we live across the street from a gym. So right. I took a personal trainer. And you don't have to spend a lot. Even like, you know, just a base level trainer will help you. Yeah. So do that because you always need that extra kick. So, so you do, do that. that. Do you feel like before works as much as the post pregnancy works? Before meaning like the last fifteen yeah. years. Yeah. Actually, because yeah, you know, I've always been, always been doing stuff, and you always think, okay, well, should I stop? No, continue because when you have children, this is when all your efforts pay off. Mm -hmm. This is when your body pays you back. It bounces back. It takes care of you because you took care. Yeah. yeah, so she's she's been at it, guys, the last 15 years, and it's just not like just not overnight, right? Okay, we're gonna end with a fun game uh, where DJ has to answer yes or no, okay? Uh, and we're playing happy weather. So you just gonna... <laughs> created a craving just to get KVP's attention. Uh, yes yeah. or no? Yes. Okay. Yes. George, being on the phone, I have to tell him, excuse me, I need something. Uh, okay. Call Bella by the name of Vienna and the other way around. Mm -hmm. All the time. Okay. <laughs> Try to be busy to miss the dirty diaper changing turn. Never. I I think 95, maybe 98 percent of diapers I've changed. In my family, they'll say, oh, oh something stinky. <laughs> that means <laughs> take your baby change. I love that. Okay. Have you stayed a little longer in the bathroom, even if you heard your kids cry because you needed some more peace? No, usually they're banging on the door, mom, mom, so I open the door and they just, seriously, yeah, I let them come in, so I'm rushing, they just stand there and watch, so they yeah, set up and crying, they come in. Celebrated when someone cancelled plans with me because it meant I didn't have to take a shower or put on makeup or carry on adult conversation. All the time, it seems like a process to get ready to hair, do makeup, iron clothes, when someone says, like, she's an actress and she's a producer and she's a host. I can't believe that you're saying you it. Know, but that's because whenever I'm working, there's somebody else to get you ready. They give you the clothes, they do the hair, the makeup. You have to do it yourself. You're like, <laughs> okay, uh, peed in my pants while sneezing. No, never. <laughs> after, after pregnancy. No, no, actually, I never had that before. Okay. Use my hands or clothing to wipe the snort for my kid's nose or my spit to wipe the filth from her face. No, not spit, though I have used, you know, the edge of my shirt to wipe it. She has milk or water on her mouth, I'll just dab it quickly. Okay. Acted like a total goofball in public with my kids, like singing, dancing, or making yeah. high pitched animal noises. Yeah, we do like dinosaurs. Yeah. So, I mean, yes, we do. Carrying your diaper bag as a person, mm -hmm. vice versa. Sometimes you have to. I can't be bothered to carry two separate things, so mm -hmm. I'll just throw my phone into the diaper bag. Totally. Not <laughs> KVP, anything about parenting that you didn't already know. I've taught them a lot about parenting. I think it's she's taught him a lot in general. <laughs> <laughs> Not really about he, parenting. He's actually a natural when it comes to taking care of kids. But sometimes I yeah, I have to kind of Okay, and now for the last question. Advice to women who are in the fashion, beauty, television world, body world on balancing a career or taking the plunge into motherhood. It's not as serious as you think. Because people think once I have once I have babies, once I have children, I can't work, I can't there is nothing like that. You can do everything still. Don't put off or neglect this part. You know, you don't feel that no, I can't ever have kids because my career means too much to me. Women can do it all. So children just blend in nicely to everything else that you do and they just become part of your journey, make it better. Awesome. So thank you so much for joining <coughs> sorry. Thank you so much for joining us today and guys if you have any questions you're popping me. So if you have any questions, why don't you tell them? If you have any questions, then you can leave them in the comments below and I will get my mommy to answer it. She just said it. Yeah. Say bye. Say bye. Bye bye. Bye.